Hi guys, welcome to a week in my life vlog. This has been the weekend that we have been waiting for for so long. First off, I self tan, so ignore me for now. Happy Friday, um, it is 5 p.m. So I am no longer working. I am off for the weekend. What I'm about to say is going to just sound so Texan, but we are going to a country concert. We're going to see Brantley Gilbert at Billy Bob's which is the largest honky tonk. I also take the party bus and it's actually like my dream come true. Like we are so excited. I really wanted to vlog a little weekend of my life. I haven't been filming them honestly recently at all because I feel like in Texas, my friends here are normal. So I don't just like throw a camera in everyone's face. I've been like bopping around town guys. I've been, I've been very social lately. I'm literally so excited this weekend. Like you have no idea. But tonight, normally on Friday nights, we do like a girls dinner. And so it's just three of us tonight. There's normally like six of us. We're going to R&D and then I'm meeting my parents for a drink before. So I'm about to get ready. Starting off with skincare, you guys know the drill. I love my Curology. I have been using Curology for probably, I wanna say eight to nine months now, and I love this stuff. You go online, you take a quiz to get sent a skincare like regimen, and this custom formula is obviously made custom to you. This stuff right here is my saving grace. I'm out here, so I put this on at night. I wake up the next morning, and it is a night and day difference. So this is the cleanser. I use this morning and night moisturizer. I really love this moisturizer and I'm picky with moisturizers. It's lightweight, it's not too oily, it gives you a nice glow. The nighttime um, custom formula, the best ever. I've said this before, but I have guy friends in Dallas who use it now. Like we are all diehard for Curology. And of course I have an offer for you guys. So it is free for the first month, just pay for shipping and handling, which is only $4.95. So okay. Have my coffee that I'm finishing. Yes, I know, guys, I know, I know. I'm gonna listen to Olivia O'Brien's new album. I'm gonna get ready. And it's gonna be a great time, guys. All right, guys, I'm thinking, actually it's in here. I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this dress tonight. It's really hot out and this is super cute. And then just some like brown heels or something. I haven't fully decided, but I just got this. And I don't know, I'm kind of into this. For like a dinner, a night out, that's fun. So this is the outfit I think I'm gonna go with. I got this new dress from Princess Polly. New shoes from Princess Polly and then my brown bag that I wear all the time. Of this Prada, I actually haven't been wearing this that much since I got my Juicy bags. The earrings I've had for so long, I have no idea where they're from. It's really hot out, so this is like perfect for like a summer night. I'm gonna go get drinks with my parents and then dinner with friends. I think that's actually gonna be the night. I don't think any of us are gonna go out or anything. Guys, you're getting ready and this just stares at you every day. Like, what do you do? Coco, I wish I had, oh my God, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love you. You were just so cute. I don't love the earrings, actually. I'm probably gonna change the earrings, but but this is the fit, so. I've already changed into boots. Obviously, the heels were like way cuter with the look. I understand that. I just like mentally couldn't commit to that tonight, you know? I'm gonna go downstairs, take the dogs out, and then I'm going to head to meet my parents. Saturday morning. Today is the big day. I just got out of the shower. I don't really know why I'm wearing this. I'm not gonna work out. Like I actually would work out, but I don't want to shower again, you know? Anyways, I would actually like to take the dogs on a walk as well. But In Dallas, it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. For today, you can look I'm really hungry. I need to make some toast. I'm really excited for tonight. I don't know my plans for today, honestly. The last night we did dinner, uh, we went out, it was fun. And now here I am. By the way, set as your bars. As always, it's literally all I wear. Guys, I just put my AirPods in. Shower, or er, this shower was probably a bad idea before the walk, isn't it even? Making avocado toast. I need something to like sit you on. By the way, for those of you asking where Dom is, Dom just hasn't been in Texas recently. She was, she was going to go to Billy Bob's, but she's not back this weekend. Anyways, Coco is looking so cute. Girl, keep it up. I truly feel like it is Honestly, Christmas Eve and I'm five. Like, that's how excited I am. All the group chats, all of our friends are just doing things to fill their time today because we all just want it to be tonight, guys. I don't know how I'm going to occupy myself with the world's most exciting 
night of our lives. That doesn't make sense. Tonight, it's all, it's been the talk of the town. It's all anyone's been talking about all last night. That's all we were talking about. I absolutely cannot wait. I asked for you guys' opinion on my outfit and I'm gonna go with dress number one on TikTok. If you guys haven't seen, check it out, but. All right guys, I went on a nice long walk. I called a friend from LA. We caught up, great time. I was on FaceTime with Dom for two hours this morning. I mean, it's really just been a chill day. So tired and all I wanna do is lay in bed and watch YouTube videos and read. I was gonna go to a friend's lake house, but the timing's just like not working. I need to really preserve my energy for tonight at Billy Bob's. So, made some coffee, gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna read, watch YouTube videos. Do the whole thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't know, you know what? I forgot that I had brown heels and I literally just ordered a new pair, but they're like, I have my heels, it's all my fault. We're ready. Yes. <laughs> okay, I went with this dress. These boots, do you guys want to do after the days? Okay. Here we go. Zara. Cowboy boots for my 16th birthday. <laughs> um like trail dust. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what my jewelry is. Tiffany. Oh Tiffany, my, my grandma's, my, my grandma's, you're in, Louis Vuitton, Amazon. Love it. My Come friend. on, strut in. Thank you. Okay. Here we are. Here I am. Um, this is kind of embarrassing. Not <laughs> Urban Outfitters. Cute. Urban Outfitters. Can you guess this one? Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Kinsey's closet. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay, so I haven't vlogged. Truth is, it's been... A stressful afternoon to say the least. So I was the vlog earlier this morning. I was like, I'm so excited. Taryn and I woke up immediately. We were like on FaceTime. Like, I can't wait. I'm like, I'm a five year old on Christmas Eve. It's been the most stressful time ever. But it's still gonna be really fun. The party bus is coming. I'll have all the party bus details down below as well. It's gonna be a great night. Um, I'm coming out of my stressful phase. And like, I think we're gonna power through. Guys, this bus, I can't even describe to you how big it is. Okay. All right, guys, so here we are in the party bus. Um, we got the red ruby. It's everything for, I don't know. Um, I'll put the company on the thing. If you're in Dallas, use them. I mean, like, this is, like, it pulled up outside of my house, and we were, like, on the floor crying laughing because it was so big. This fits 28 people. Um, we could have gone smaller <laughs> with our group. But here we are. Look at these beautiful, we've got, oh, my God, like, TVs over here. I mean, guys, this is the most fun thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. Welcome to Texas Summer, everyone. So happy that you're here. I'm so excited. Here we are. Oh, wow. Hello. This is your sign to get a party. Happy Sunday guys. So last night was so fun. My face is so much paler than my body right now. I ordered Jimmy John's. I feel like I lost my voice. We had like the best time. I'll link below on um, the party bus that we use. They're so nice. It was so much fun. Like honestly, I love Billy Bob's and the party bus was like more fun than Billy Bob's. Like we were like, I honestly just like want to go back to the, like the bus. It was just so fun. How many times can I say so fun? We went to breakfast this morning and I've just been hanging out, having a really chill Sunday. I have FaceTimed, I think for probably like six hours today, just catching up with people. And I just got some Jimmy John's for dinner. Very exciting stuff. So I wanted to do a little like, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? What do I mean what's the word I'm looking for? I wanted to answer some questions um, that I asked on Instagram. Okay, the first one being, What's a good um, restaurant for girls' nights and girls' dinners? In Dallas, obviously. We actually do girls' dinners like every Friday night. And honestly, we end up going to like R&D and Honor Bar pretty much every week. 
the Hudson House, the Henry. There's so many cool places in Dallas. But like we end up sticking into like our routine. We just like love R&D, especially their marks. Like that's what we always do. I've also been getting a lot of questions on like making friends in your 20s. But I have an entire podcast episode, Fitch just got out of the bed, um, about this with the friendship coach. I'm so excited to eat this Jimmy John's, but I hate hearing people chew. And like when people are eating on camera and vlogs, I like can't deal. I forget the name of it. I have it where I like cannot listen to people chew. It like makes me so angry and I'm not an angry person. Do you miss LA? Honestly, no. I'm going back like next week. I really don't miss it. Like I miss like friends there and stuff. When I'm there, I'm like always happy to be there, but not really now. Is your friend group now from high school slash how to make new friends? So pretty much every single person that I hang out with is from my hometown. Uh, some of the girls that I hang out with are like elementary school. Oh my God. <clears throat> Both of them, all of the above. Some people I've known since elementary, middle school, high school. And then if there's anyone else that I didn't know, they're a college friend of someone that I grew up with. So making friends, like also as far as just making friends in general, not that I've made new friends recently, but you just have to put yourself out there. And, also, and as far as like making new friends, like even the girls that I hang out with, like I, I'm a very, I'm honestly like a really social person and I'm a very big friend person, whatever. And I think that, and the recent years, obviously, obviously like when you're dating someone, like you're with your partner more or I was just busy and blah, 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 whatever. And I really kind of isolated myself in 2020, not even intentionally. Obviously, we all were kind of isolated in 2020. And so this year I was like, I'm going to go back to like actually hanging out with my friends and making new friends. We literally went to like one dinner, immediately clicked. And it was like a friend of mine from elementary school, her friends, blah, blah, blah. Also, like you make the effort. Like I decided to like make friends on my social life a priority again and like making efforts so, like making plans like literally small things like texting in the group chat whatever i think people complain all the time about not having friends but they don't really like try to be a friend i'm moving to dallas in a couple of weeks where do you recommend i check out i'm assuming this is for moving most of my friends postgrad live in uptown and that's like you can walk to bars and it's fun and cool. If you're looking in the city and you're like in your 20s, I'd probably, and you're renting an apartment, I would probably recommend Uptown. Ideal age for marriage and kids. I was actually talking to the boys about this at breakfast. And like, I can't even fathom having a crush on someone right now. So like that, I can't even think about. But like, probably like 27 maybe. I don't, I really have no idea. Favorite coffee shop in Dallas. As of lately, it's been White Rhino, the new one in Uptown. I really like that place. Cutting back on drinking slash going out, but don't want to be portrayed as lame. I didn't drink or go out really for like two and a half years, probably two years, two and a half years. Obviously I'm like going out again now. I don't think it's lame at all to not want to do that. Like it's your life. You can make those decisions. I don't know. That like makes you sad. Like you're not lame. When I did this, Two and a half years ago, two years ago, I really got a different circle of friends though, I will say, just because naturally, like, I didn't want to go out all the time. And, and that's just, like, obviously what my other friends were doing. Um, so I just had to, like, find new people to, like, go do other things with, you know? All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I'm going to watch a documentary and go to bed at 8 p.m. because I stayed up talking to my friends until 5.30 in the morning, guys. Like, I, we were just talking and all of a sudden I looked at the clock and it was literally 5.30 in the morning. I like can't believe my life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life vlog. I wanna get better at vlogging on weekends, but it's just hard because I'm like with a bunch of other friends who like don't put their lives on the internet, you know what I mean? But I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow, bye. My agent calls me and she's like, they're offering you more money and I was like, do they not understand what no means? I said, no, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. No. And I learned some lovely negotiation skills. <laughs> Say no.